Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do an unboxing of the very adult worst case mm -hmm. scenario card game when disaster strikes who thinks alike. And it's by All Things Equal Incorporated, three to six players, ages 17 and adult. So if you are under 17, you should not be watching this video. We did a lightning review of worst case scenario, the regular game, and when we looked inside it, we saw that there was a pamphlet for this. I was like, okay, let's check it out. So we have not opened this yet. Mm. And we're gonna show the cards on camera. If I have possible. a feed and we're not going to read them. No. Because we'll probably this video will probably get demonetized the things that if they're read out loud. Yeah. Now it says here, warning, and I'll show you. It says warning, no child should ever consider looking inside this game. That. The rules might be easy, but the things you'll have to consider are just horrible. Players have 100% risk of genuine laughter and friendly competition and joy responsibly. So if you have the original edition of, of Worst Case Scenario, you're thinking of upgrading this, this is the purpose of this video, or maybe you just want to skip to this one. So let's take a look at what's inside. I'm scared. Well, there's going to be lots of bad words, I'm sure. Okay, so the rules... Are the same. Are the same. Oh, there's a die, though. Ah. There's a victim die now, instead of a, a spinner maybe. And here's the regular edition that we did the, the review. Okay, so you got the same score pad. Mm -hmm. Pencil, same pencil. pencil. All right, oh. so there's not a spinner. So there's a die now. And the die, it's a... Oh, pretty. It's not a sticker, but it's like... That's well, pretty. It's, well, it's It looks like it has a coating on it. So that won't wear off. So yeah, it's well, it's well colors. made. Yeah, it's well made. And that, those must be the colors of the player. The, yeah, same it's, colors as last same time. Same colors. Well, we'll open it in case you haven't seen the original. Here, go ahead. Oh yeah. Okay. Give it to the girl with arthritis too. Right, so here's the part that we're not going to read out loud. No, no. I just read the first one. You can't read that. Can you even show it? We can show it. Uh, Okay, so it has the side thing here. So all that, here, you can show it on your camera. Go ahead and take a look. Those are the tokens. And you use those if you don't know how the game works. This you is, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. You try to predict, There's, you take turns being a victim and you use your tokens to try to predict what somebody thinks is bad, a one. It says definitely bad now. Oh, okay, well, why don't you show all five? Okay. Look, look at the camera, sweetie. Ready? So we have these beautiful colors, and I'm afraid to show you. Show them all. Just show one of uh, all of one color. Okay. Here we go. And Julie's, I'm not going to read them because I don't want to get in trouble. Let me see what they say. <laughs> there you go. You can see it. I'm not going to say it. Wow, yeah. So a five... Is the worst. Is the worst, and one is not so bad. Yeah. So wow, so they changed that. I'm going to put them all away now. All right, open up the, the rest of these cards. I'm going to start showing the cards. Okay. Okay, just put them off to the side, please. All right, here we go. got to be careful. And, and you may not want to see all the cards. You may want to be surprised. But if you're thinking, okay, well, how bad is this? We're just going to give you a sample. Well, no, I'm going to show all the cards. All of these cards? Yeah. It doesn't take me long. So if somebody's thinking, do I really want this? And it may be like, nah, this is too naughty. I don't want to get this. This gives you an idea. There you go. You definitely see that it is R-rated. Yeah, you can't read these. Okay, I just gotta, so that's those. And you can pause it.
Huh. Look at the one on the top. It's Game of Thrones. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> This also lets you know, too, that if you have older children, is this something you'd want to even play with your older children? Yeah, and we do. Our boys are 26, 24, and our oldest, his fiance, is 27. Uh, I you don't could, know if I could well, do this. Well, you could take out some of the cards that are really nasty. Yeah. I don't know. This is pretty... Some of it's not so bad. Some of it is bad. Okay, so there's that. So you definitely may want to police the cards for oh, something that your family would be like, no, I don't think we'd want to just even consider that Let's one. just put it this way. I would not play this with my mom or my brother <laughs> or my brother-in-laws. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. I, there's no way. I don't know if I could play this with my children. And then you'd have to think about it. Can your friends handle this? No, my friends could not <laughs> handle this. Because, you know, there's games like Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, that's that, one thing. This is like a step above, big time step above Cards Against Humanity. Oh, yeah, and you can remove some of the ones that are that are worse. Like, this isn't so bad. It's gross. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's just like... Uh, like this one, you wouldn't want to play that with, your, with no. your own children. God, no. No, that's uncomfortable. So that gives you an idea of how bad it is. Okay. I'm even a little disturbed by some of this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you're right. It is. This is why we're doing the unboxing. Today. I don't even know how much we are going to play. We might just laugh at these cards and talk about it. I don't, I don't know. If, yeah. See, some of them you can play with. Like this yeah, one right here. Yeah, you could. You just remove the ones that are like really nasty, mm -hmm. that are you know uncomfortable. <laughs> this would be the worst. Lose all your computer passwords. That would okay. That would stress me out. That's see, you can see it varies in severity here. Yeah. And some, not all the cards are so bad. You'd have to remove them. Like gain three pounds every day for a month. I wouldn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, that that those are those ones were okay. You're right. If you took out like so far ninety percent of the other stuff I saw, this, well, it's not ninety percent. Okay. Not all the cards are that bad. No, but they, they do vary in severity. That's true. But see, that would be you wouldn't want that in a regular kids version. Oh my gosh, no! Oh. Or this one. <laughs> you, that would be okay with some circles. And the reason why I'm laughing, a friend of mine did work someplace mm. where the supervisor did get caught with something oh they, were, my they should gosh. not have brought to work. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, that's a real thing. Wow. I'll tell you off camera what it was. Okay. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Okay, why did you do that? You know, kind of thing. That was not smart. That yeah, that wouldn't be smart. And really, it wasn't at work. It was on a business trip. Oh, geez, Louise. And the person brought something, and it was somehow they got they had coworkers in the hotel room, and the person forgot, oh, and it was left out. My gosh. Fire ants crawl into your eyelids. That would be awful. You have whiny, bratty kids who nobody likes. Again, some of these aren't so bad. And some of it's quite sadistic. Yeah. Like this one. This one would kill me. <laughs> Well, I'd oh. be able to predict that would be a five for you. It would be beyond the five. It would be like... <laughs> it would be a heart attack level. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now, the situations, by comparison to the original, you won't necessarily die from it. No. But it's it's, you die from embarrassment. Embarrassment. 
pure embarrassment. Right. And fear. A lot of fear. No dying, but fear. Like this one here? That would be one in the original game. Yeah. Or this one, too. Accidentally delete all of your important texts and emails. Right. So some of these are like, that kind of sounds like the original. Mm-hmm. So they must have came up, they must have... This one, like, put, drink only, your only drink for the rest of your life is water. That's not bad. Right, it could have been in the original game. It could have. Because a child could be like, well, I like Kool-Aid or I like, mm -hmm. you know, soda. Yeah. Here, they're implying it's alcohol. Mm. You know, that you would have to give up alcohol. I could do it. Sure. See, like that one right there. There's oh definitely degrees God. of nastiness here. That one I think is from the other game too. Take a large adrenaline shot to the heart. I think that's in the yeah, other game. Yeah, so there must be some re a repetition. Mm -hmm. You're right, good catch. The sad thing is, I, I told you in my high school, Planned Parenthood came out. This was in the 80s. And they had a pamphlet about that. Oh, my goodness. And sakes. about a couple other acts that I can't say. Oh and we my were goodness. like, as kids, we're reading the pamphlet. Like, what the hell is this stuff? Yeah. Like, do I really need to know that at age 16 or 15? And that was in the 80s. <sighs> it makes you wonder now, what, do they put in, what are they putting in the pamphlets? Right. Oh, gosh, I can only imagine. Don't even <laughs> want to talk about and like, it. And this is before the internet. So it's like, do I really need to be exposed to that? Yeah. So we made fun of it, of course, because we'd we'd sit around and read the pamphlet. And there was a, a British exchange student with us, and so he did it in his British accent. It was hilarious. See, it's not necessarily so bad. It could mm -hmm. be that, ever, that you live longer than anybody else. Yeah. You won the contest and live longer. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, definitely we're going to have to police the cards. So we're almost done here. And if you're still watching the video, you have an idea of what you're getting yourself into if you do get this version. Yeah. Live in a ghost town by yourself for six months. Well, that, that's if it really is a ghost town. If it, I could just have access to Target fully stocked in mean, a grocery it's a, store? It's a ghost town, meaning oh. you'd have to bring in your supplies. Oh, yeah, no, that's not going to okay. happen. All right, well, that is... <clears throat> well, let's take a look at what the die does. Because you usually have the spinner. The, 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 the die affects how players score the round and is rolled by the victim after all players rankings are revealed. Do not move the die or the chips until scores are tallied. Mm. Points are scored one of two ways. Players get one point for every chip that matches one of the victim's chips and if you uh, also any player who matched the victim chip with the same number as the number rolled gets three point bonus. So if you matched one and you rolled a one you get a three point bonus. If you roll a check mark because there's a check mark on the die mm -hmm. okay see right there Uh, score your chips. Instead of players scoring one point per match, players score points based on the numbers shown on their matching chips. So if I match a five to a five, you get five points. Oh, okay. So that's how it's different. <sighs> so we know we're going to have to remove certain cards. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks so much, you guys. We hope you uh, enjoyed this fun adventure with us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.